I believe that life is alive, meaning life itself is alive. It's not something that goes on and off, living dead. That that is alive is alive all the time. And water is that thing which is alive all the time. And when we see images of faces of water, we see that life within water. We see all of that infinite amount of characters and forms of life in water. We see the activity on every scale. We find complexity of form and forms of life we know on every scale. It's not just in the microscope or the bigger version or it goes across platforms with no change. It is beautiful and exciting to see all those forms of life exist just in water. It's beautiful and exciting to know that those forms are not random. It's beautiful to see that those forms are expressions, expressions of intentions and characters in nature. It's amazing to find that water is infinite, infinite in its character, infinite in its, its intentions and ways of being and what it wants to become and be. If we talk about freedom of speech, that's what water is. It's the freedom of expression of every possible form of thought. And those forms of thought then take form in the physical world. And then they take shape, an actual form. Then you start seeing those vehicles, be it a shark, be it a dolphin. The, the symbol of the form, the vehicle, informs you as to what's in front of you. Can I play with the dolphin? Can I play with the shark? You can tell there's a lot of information expressed through form, through the way we look, through the way everything around us look. It's part of a visual information map of characters, of intentions. The ocean is a place of infinite movements in all directions. Every possible character and intention you can imagine exists. But then, like we all know, there's a physical world we exist in. And at that point, we choose things that make sense to our relationship with the physical world. And that's where we find structure and order we find organization in our relationship to matter. But as long as we're free form, as long as water is liquid, you will find infinite forms. You will find every possible way of expression within water and just water. The word form and inform, we can inform each other by using symbols of visual aesthetics, shapes, that is the idea here. As water is moving, it's also showing you the character and the intention behind it. Nothing is hidden in that sense. The life in water is as social as your life, if not more, because the connectivity between all the water molecules is far greater than the connectivity that we have right now between the individual human beings around here. A good way to start learning more about water, its intention, its movement, its forms, physical forms and aesthetics, um, is Faces of Water book. I put together images that really represent a cross-section of the different type of images that you can get, from animals to space, satellite views. The, the patterns of water are infinite, and most of the patterns we know are ones of water, our liquid dynamics. And here in the book, I try to put a collage of images, text, and ideas that will help open up that door into understanding water as the architect of nature, as the body of consciousness. So thank you very much for watching, and please share with anyone you might think will enjoy this book.